Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the threat agent or bad actors when it comes to cyber attack. In the prior session, we discussed what is cybersecurity and what are the cyber attacks and what are the consequences of cyber attacks. In this session, we would look at the actors, the threat agent, the people, the groups that carry on those cyber attacks. So what is a threat agent or a bad actor? It's any person or any entity. It could be a person, it could be a group of people, it could be an organization, it could be a government entity. And that entity is capable of doing what? Exploiting a vulnerability, a weakness within your system, within your network or within your application for what purpose? To cause you harm, to steal your data, to do what? To disrupt your operation. They could steal your data, they could manipulate your data, disrupt your services, or gain access to information they're not supposed to, to sensitive information. So this is any person, any group, any individual. Now, we can break them down by, from a grand perspective, from insiders and outsiders. So a threat agent can be both from inside your organization, which is that's bad to have, because simply put, it's easier for that individual, or it could be from outside an organization. And bear in mind, not all threat agents have the same skill, resources, and motivation. So they don't all they don't all use the same method. They don't all have the same technology know-how, and they don't all have the same goal from from carrying those cyber attacks. And it's very important to understand their motivation, their skill level, their resources, so you know how to respond. And this is what we will discuss in this session the different type of threat agents. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, farhatlectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's gonna help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. So threat agents are distinguished by their objectives. What is their objectives? Usually, most of the time, it's money financial gain, but it doesn't have to be financial gain, and the method that they are using. And they might include hackers seeking financial gain. I would say this is the majority. That's what they do for a living. That's that's their job. It could be an employee with grievances against their employer. They're not happy uh, because you're not paying them well. They're not being treated well, or they think that's the case. They're under that impression. You could have an attack by a competitor. And that competitor, they don't like your business. You're, you're competing with them. You're eating their lunch. They might engage in corporate espionage, or they may just try to drive you out of business, disrupt your business. And sometimes those threat agents could be state-sponsored group or state groups. Some countries, they have groups that carry on cyber attacks against other countries, against other companies, against individual and other nations. Well, that could be also the threat agent. So notice you have a wide variety of threat agents. You need to understand the identification Who's, who's attacking us? Then you would understand their motive. The un identification and understanding of the threat are crucial to develop effective security strategy. Let's assume you are being attacked by state-sponsored groups. Under those circumstances, you may want to contact, if you know that's the case, you want to contact the federal government, the NSA, the FBI, somebody's going to help you. Well, if you are being attacked by your competitor, you want to be very careful of how you, you respond. You don't want to show that your information is being compromised. So depending on who, who who's the attacker, who's the threat agent, now how would you know this? Well, cybersecurity expert, they would know from the type of the attack, from the technology that they're using, from the level of programming, so on and so forth. Now you want to do what? At the end of the day, you want to defend yourself. You want to reinforce the defenses. There are six types of hackers. You could have well, we said six type of hackers, six type of threat agents. Hackers, again, hackers, what do they do? They want financial gain. Usually that's what they do. Could be your ad adversaries. Again, who are these? Your competitors. People that don't like you. Usually your competitors, right? <laughs> uh, government sponsored. We talked about this. Government sponsored with the third group. 
you could have hacktivists. Well, what is hacktivist? It's activists. Remember, we have political activists like for the environment, for other social purposes. Hacktivist is what they do. They take their cause and they man manifest their cause through cyber attacks. That's what hacktivists are. You could have insiders, your own employees, or anything else outsiders threat. So we're going to look at each one of them separately, but pretty much they're self-explanatory. Those are the different bad actors or threat agents. Hackers, that's what they do for a living. Those are individuals, groups, could be one person, could be a group of, group of people in a faraway country or your next door neighbor. What they do, they use what's called advanced persistent threat, APTs. It means they keep doing it. And the goal is to infiltrate your system, your network, your data. To do what? To gain financial, financial uh, reward. That's what they want. They want to be paid. Their objective wide, widely varied, but usually it's to steal asset. And usually how they want to steal the asset in form of money. This, this, they want to destabilize your business, threaten you, spread misinformation, or they can threaten they're going to spread misinformation for the whole purpose to seek financial profit. Pay them and they will stop. That's what they do. They're hackers. That's their job. For example, a group of hackers might launch a ransom attack on a corporation, encrypting their data and demanding payment for, for its release. You can't use the data until you pay us and usually you pay them in some sort of a, a currency like a Bitcoin So it's not traceable now Remember they encrypt your data and sometimes what they do they will threaten on re Releasing the data to the public. That's another major a major problem because that's a reputational problem Another group of hack uh, of people that could attack you are your adversaries Whose interests conflict with yours? your competitors usually they're motivated by what by competing with you motivated by various malicious intent they engage in activities such as intercepting transaction stealing data tampering with hardware or executing social engineering attacks that's what they do those include your competitors that could be engaged in corporate espionage or trying to steal proprietary information or trying to put you out of business altogether by you know disrupting your data disrupting your network adversaries again if you can identify them you will treat with this threat differently than if it's a state-sponsored threat or if it's hackers the third type of groups government sponsor or state-sponsored actor those actors are backed by national government and they conduct cyber security operation to steal intellectual property sensitive data espionage activities or for the purpose of doing what gaining geopolitical advantage over other countries especially if two countries are at war. For example, uh, right now there is the ongoing Russian-Ukrainian war. I can assure you there are cyber attacks constantly going on between those two countries. That's always the case. Sometimes those cyber wars are silent. You're not aware of them, but they're happening in the background. And no country will claim that they carried this attack because that's a bad reputation for that country. For example, a state-sponsored group might infiltrate another nation's government network to gather intelligence or disrupt critical infrastructure. Hacktivists, again, who are the hacktivists? Those are motivated by social or political cause. They use their skills to do what? To draw attention to specific issues, often targeting organization they view as opposing their values. Now, some of these hacktivists, they might be ethical, they may not be ethical. Sometimes they might bring down your website for an hour or two to warn you. Sometimes they may bring down your website for two, three days. For example, environmental activists, uh, uh, companies, uh, activists that want to protect the right of animals. So if you're using animal product or animals in your testing, they might do what? Attack your website. They're considered hacktivists. An example would be a group of hack, of gr a group hacking and defacing a controversial company's web website to protest its practices or policies. For example, certain groups they might attack uh, a porn website. They believe it, it doesn't. You know, they don't. They don't believe in those values. That's fine. The point is. It's not for uh, money. That's not why they're attacking you. Their motivation is either social cause or some sort of political cause. Insiders, those are the worst attack because it's very easy for that individual to carry, to carry on the attack. Insiders pose a unique threat as they are or were part of the organization they target. So they have inside information. They have access to sensitive information and systems. And especially if those insiders work in the IT or the security department, IT security department of that organization. 
This category includes employees who become malicious or those who infiltrate on an organization with harmful intent. An insider threat, again, an employee is the best example, sabotaging the company's data out of revenge or to benefit a competitor. Or if somebody is, is fired, what they would do if they know they're going to be fired, they might put what's called a time bomb. Basically, if they're fired, they would the program will be executed and they will maybe destroy a database. That's a problem, insiders. External threats, think about everybody else other than the one that we mentioned. Um, they are entities or individuals outside the targeted organization. Unlike insiders, they leverage vulnerabilities from the outside to breach the system or steal the data. With external threat, for example, hackers will be considered under the external threat. It's cyber criminal organization launching a phishing campaign to gain unauthorized access to use personal information. So external threat is any 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 threat other than the previous five that we mentioned because in the previous five some of them are external but anything that's not identified we just we can place them under external threat let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com what is common objective among hackers classified as attackers or threat actors what's a common usually a common objective is it to promote a political agenda is it to seek revenge against an employer is it to gain to have financial gain or destabilizing of business or demonstrating technical prowess without malicious intent? Usually, what's, what's a common objective? If you want to think about what's the most common, what would you say? Well, do you think they, they do so to show you that they can do it? I don't think so. That's not a common objective. Is it seek revenge against an employer? Yes, yeah, some do. They have to be, first of all, they have to be an employee. So... I would say that this will not be a common objective. Is it to promote a political agenda? Remember, those are hacktivists. Those are special type of activists, and those are not the most common. Well, what's left is financial gain. Usually, usually, hackers, they the intent is financial gain or destabilize your business. It means your competitor. And usually, if it's not your competitor, if it's a state government, basically for the same purpose, destabilizing the business in that country. So that will be C. C is a common objective among hackers, I would say. So what should you do now? As I mentioned earlier, working multiple choice questions is the best defense for information systems and control. And Farhat Lectures offers hundreds, if not more than a thousand MCQs that deals with information systems and control. Practice, 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 invest in yourself. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.